my old business partner, the one that, you know, me and him split a bottle of bourbon and decided, you know what, we should really open a restaurant. We've been doing this a long time and it's time we do it for ourselves. He wanted to open, of all things in the world, a Irish themed boxing bar called Dante's Ring. I wanted to open a place called Fire and Ice, bar on one side of the restaurant and the kitchen on the other and kind of the juxtaposition of the fight between the two. We kept the Dante's from the Dante's Ring and the fire from the Fire and Ice, put them together, Dante's Fire was named. And then the categories from the menu dropped out as a literary spin off uh, Dante's Inferno. To tease the Tucson culinary scene, and you're probably the first people to know that, if you're looking for a fresh and tasty meal with a scratch kitchen, conveniently located right smack in the middle of central Tucson, then you'll find everything you need at Dante's Fire. Located on Grant Road close to Campbell, Dante's Fire cocktails and cuisine creates fine foods for everyone to enjoy, with menu items envisioned and crafted by Tucson's very own reigning iron chef, Ken Foy. Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about Dante's Fire, voted best late night eatery by the community in Tucson. When you're ready to buy or sell a home in Tucson or the surrounding areas, please reach out to me. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this YouTube channel, and there are hundreds of other videos on this channel about things to do and see and know about my hometown of Tucson, Arizona. And yes, I have lots of other videos about restaurants here so make sure you explore the rest of those videos after this one comment below with your favorite menu item at dante's fire and of course like and subscribe for more information about tucson and real estate in general Dante's Fire is one of those places with a casual atmosphere and fine food that anyone can and will enjoy. Start off with their happy hour, daily 4 to 6 p.m. or all day Sunday to get specials on select drinks and food items when you dine in. For cocktails, I recommend the Mexican candy or cucumber martinis. And for apps, I love the jalapeno poppers. They also offer weekly specials, so check out their online menu to decide which day of the week or day days of the week you want to stop by. My favorite menu item is the pork belly. It is so good. And the chocolate cake is also to die for. The menu is broken up into two sections. One is made up of kind of like the tried and true items that they've been featuring forever. And the other is rotating items that come and go. So you can always try something new whenever you stop by. Dante's Fire has received multiple articles and has been featured many times in TucsonFoodie.com and is very active in the community. Most recently, Chef Kenneth Foy was challenged for his title of Iron Chef of Tucson and fought a tough battle but still came out victorious. That means he is one of the few chefs in Tucson who has won Iron Chef competitions back to back two years in a row now. Even though he's a super busy guy, Chef Ken made time for an interview with me shortly after he won the Iron Chef trophy and title for 2023. Here's what he had to say about the event and his restaurant. How exciting was that to be winner two years in a row? It was something we really, really wanted. Devin, we knew, was a tough competitor, so it was not going to be easy. But, you know, it's, it's only been repeat winners three times in 15 years. We thought if we could win it more than once back to back, it would put us in a completely different league. And did it? It did in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you and Chef Devin, I mean, you guys are friends, right? We are great friends. We're yeah. members of Gut with each other. He's always been a great ambassador to Tucson and our UNESCO designation and what it means to be in the culinary scene here in Tucson. Yeah. So he is he's a top-notch individual. Mm. This is why we were so worried. You know, he definitely has me beat on the mustache game. <laughs> I started working for my uncle when I was 13 years old. I was a misaligned youth, and I, I just loved the atmosphere of it. I just started doing it, and I fell in love. I was never gonna be a sit behind a desk and you know enter numbers on a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Mom was that, dad was a lawyer and an engineer, and I was like, you know what, I can't do either of us. Well, and the restaurant scene is very exciting. It is, right? it is. <laughs> it's, you never know what you're gonna get any day when you walk into work. In the beginning days, we had a mantra around here. We're not going to be our father's restaurant. So we have no stuffy maitre d' at the front door. We're not decked out with cummerbunds and vests. I had been in that world for 30 plus years. We're going to be a place where you're just as comfortable in flip-flops, having foie gras as the lady we are going to or coming from the symphony dressed up to the nines. This is yeah. a very warm, inviting atmosphere. 
I've got some that I love and some that I hate that we're stuck with forever. The Parpadel Diablo. When I was at Tucson Country Club, toiling away for 10 years, they had this Parpadel dish on the menu. Like old school tomato sauce based and yeah. had the chorizo and stuff like that. I was like, I want to do this right finally. So I opened yeah. my own place. And I was like, we're doing it right. We're putting jumbo lump crab in there. It'll be more of a cream based sauce. We're gonna flambe it with vodka, this and that. So it's great. But once again, it's been a decade and I can't get away from the jambalaya. So I love it. The Parpadel Diablo is gonna follow me to my grave wherever I go from here. What's cool about your menu, you kind of have two parts to the menu, right? Like one is sort of the tried yes. and true, been there forever. Yeah, our sacred cows, as we call them. The, oh, okay. The Thai curry shrimp, which is a food memory of, me, of mine from Old Town Manassas, Virginia, where I had a curry duck and they put cucumber in it and I was like nice. that is phenomenal how come I've never heard of that or seen that before because you cook them up and they almost taste like a melon not like yeah. a cucumber so that's been one of my favorite dishes late teens early 20s the chicken marsala one of my first jobs I had was working for my uncle late 80s early 90s and he did a lot of catering and that the chicken marsala was always on there it was an homage to him I was like we're gonna take this we're gonna dress it up we're gonna elevate it we're gonna update it and and it's still going to be a flavor people know because everybody's heard of chicken marsala, yeah. but we're going to do it in a way that nobody sees coming. And that's kind of in our DNA here. But yeah. the left-hand side of the menu, you know, people come there and they're going to come back for the left-hand side of the menu. But the culinary team, the right-hand side of the menu, that's where they live. What are we doing? It doesn't have to last six months. It doesn't have to last six weeks. We just have to be into it in the moment and, and you know, put it out. Someone come into Dante's Kitchen or Dante's Fire for the very first time, what do they have to try? They have to try a cucumber martini. They absolutely have to do it. That's another thing I'll never be able to get away from. The marsala and right now the pork belly is one of our favorite bites, but no telling when it won't be on the menu anymore. And you do some cool stuff. The night that we were here most recently, there was a magic show going on yes. in the back. Just about every Saturday, and it's run through the Tucson Magic Group that hosts the thing. There's a magic show at Dante's just about every Saturday of every week. And that's a separate like ticket that yep. you have they, to get? They go online or, or go through his website and they buy a ticket and they come here and we provide them a three course meal and they have a fun little magic two hour show that the people enjoy. It's just fun. It's just yeah. downright fun. Food, yeah. magic, yeah. it's the perfect combination. <laughs> I know you're involved a lot in the community. We are. So we love anything that has to do with SACA. Kate and her team there are great, and it that is about as community-driven as you can get. To tease the Tucson culinary scene, and you're probably the first people to know that, it, the name might be changing. <gasps> Just a little bit. I hope you've learned a little bit about Dante's Fire here in Tucson, Arizona. This is one of those great places with menu items that everyone can enjoy. We've always had a great time and delicious drinks and fantastic food that everyone can enjoy. Throw down the name of your favorite Dante's Fire menu item in the comments below. And if you're interested in buying or selling Tucson real estate, please reach out to me. All my contact information is in the description below each video on this YouTube channel, of which we have hundreds, including tons of videos about places to eat when you are visiting or new to Tucson. Consider liking and subscribing on your way out the door so that you can get more information about Tucson and real estate in general. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next Tucson video.